Cast for today looks like it's shaping up to be kind of a nice fall day. We're going to have an absolutely gorgeous day, and leading into today was an absolutely beautiful sunset. Yeah. Of course, we always see them. Skywatch seven in the time lapse beginning at 5:30. Just watch the sunlight as it goes across the lake. They're absolutely beautiful as the boats come in and out. There are still plenty of them out on Lake Erie right now, and as we go to about seven o'clock, you see the sunset. Unfortunately, earlier and earlier we. Are going to get into the 70s before the sun sets today. 60s, unfortunately, are going to be with us. Now, I shouldn't really say unfortunately. A lot of people like temperatures in the 60s. However, we are going to have cloud cover and areas of rain, periods of heavy rain at times as we go through the next several days with an area of low pressure. I've been talking about it all week long that is going to really just be a very pesky system as we go into the upcoming weekend by next week. We start to dry out a little bit. Right now, it is 58 degrees. It's a cool, uh, cool start to the morning and quite chilly in spots as well. Sunrise comes up at 709 and looking at the satellite and radar shot together, a southerly wind is going to help us get into the 70s today. It's because this area of low pressure excuse me, stays out to the west for the day today. We are going to deal with some cloud cover and much of it is going to be increasing from south to north as we go throughout the afternoon. Late in the evening, we're, we're going to find some rain showers aren't going to come in until we go close to the midnight hour. So pretty much throughout the day on Wednesday, we're going to be dry and temperatures are going to be above average in the 70s. So let's take a look at it hour by hour, our Wednesday afternoon. If you go further west, the more you're going to see in the way of some cloud cover. We are going to find a little bit more across the southern tier through Chautauqua County. This is trying to bring in a few light sprinkles as we go. Maybe if you're going to be in Mayville or through Chautauqua Lake, Jamestown area, Dunkirk could find a brief shower, but the majority of any rain isn't coming in until after midnight and it's going to come in from south to north. Typically something we don't see all too much, but because this area of low pressure is going to be down to our south and starting to move eastward, well now we have that southeasterly wind. So we'll have areas of rain showers overnight into Thursday and we're going to see that all day through the day on Thursday as well. Not going to be a washout of a day, but we are going to find the cloud cover with us through the day and then we're going to have periods of rain showers as we go through Thursday into Friday and and even into Saturday, these temperatures are going to be a little bit below average in the lower 60s and a bit of a breeze out there as well. An easterly wind, that's a little different than what we typically get. Ours is usually from the south, southwest, and now it's going to be out of the east for Thursday. So a breezy wind there on Friday. Again, areas of rain showers, temperatures in the 60s this weekend. We are going to get some dry time. We'll be in the upper 60s there. And then finally, we'll get close to 70 degrees and dry things out by next week on Tuesday. Yeah, that's not a bad looking fall weekend. We have to take it as it comes, right? Thanks, Autumn.